If I'm right, Danny may be innocent. Danny, where did they all go? I think the process of un- um, unraveling this character through interviews and getting his backstory was a brilliant choice. What was that process like for you to do and what did you enjoy most about it? It was very daunting, you know, when you're looking down the barrel of a hundred pages of dialogue, if probably even more than a hundred pages of dialogue with one actress in one room, one setting, you're really limited to what you can do creatively. And, you know, I'm delighted to say that Amanda was the perfect scene partner. The writing was just such a pleasure every day to work with. And our directors weren't afraid to to break the rules and find new ways to make that room interesting. So it was really tough. I was really worried that those scenes were gonna feel like somewhat of a speed hump in the show. But I'm delighted to say that I think they're just as compelling as the flashbacks. I agree with you 100%, so compelling. And I also wanna talk to you about the mother-son dynamic that you got to portray with Emmy. I think that was such an important part of the story. What was that like for you to do? I mean, you and Emmy were just incredible together, every scene you had. You know, we were so lucky in having Emmy. I think her performance in episode nine might steal the show. Like, she is absolutely breathtaking in that episode. It was really wonderful. We had lots of time to talk before the show. We had many meetings with Akiva and with Will and with Ben, my acting coach, to try and figure out how we thought this dynamic would best play out on screen. Emmy was so collaborative, she was game. There is this one scene that I was not there for when they filmed. And I remember watching the scene in the episode and she somehow has like morphed into a version of Danny. And the bridge between like mother and son, I'm sure you know the scene I'm talking about where Raya goes to see her. I remember when I saw the scene and was like, Emmy hasn't seen any of the things that I've done since we started shooting this show. How is she portraying Danny in her own way? Like, it's mind-blowing what she did. So I loved working with her. She was a lot of fun, and gosh, she's so talented. She, she's really fantastic. There are so many moments in this in the show that are just took my breath away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I, I really want to ask you also about the role of executive producer. Why was that important to you for this project? I feel like, you, you know, I got to speak with you Uncharted, Uh, previously, and I got to talk to you about the executive producer role, so I wanted to ask you again what it was like for this one. I think, you know, I had a really positive experience with Uncharted, working with Alex and Chuck and, and, and those guys getting the show going. I really enjoyed that. I think why it was so important for me to have the EP credit here was to protect myself. This is a really, really daunting task, playing this character. It's TV, it's something I haven't done before, it's a lot of work, and I wanted to just have that extra stake in the game so that had I needed to put my foot down, like cutting my hair, I kind of had more power to do that. And I'm delighted to say I never needed to exercise that power. The producers were so collaborative. They were such great teachers to me. So it was a really great privilege to get to do, and I would definitely do it again. Thank you so much again for your time, Tom. It's always such a pleasure speaking with you, and I really appreciate it. Amazing. Right back at you. Thank you very much. I want to talk to you about portraying the mother-son dynamic with Tom. I think that is such a crucial part of this story, and I'm curious what it was like for you to bring to life. One of the biggest challenges, I think, of this character was getting to play her over a span of time. When we meet her, she's a young 25-year-old single mom. She's a nurse and a bartender, and she's incredibly committed to her kid. And they, you, you see they're in sync and kind of in love. Um, and you watch her be a caretaker in every aspect of her life. And you watch over 10 years as she ages to 35 and her child grows up and the family secrets um, and the things that they hide from each other and themselves shatter that closeness and ultimately lead to this crime. For me, in the scenes with Tom, we had to know what we were both mourning, the loss that we had shared of the ch- of that bond of that when bond. he was a child. So for me, establishing and kind of memorizing the, the joy and expansive playfulness that, that we find in the scenes with the young Danny, who's played by Zachary Golinger, that was the most crucial thing, getting to spend time with Zach, drawing pictures of our cats together, you know, playing in Central Park, going on the swings at the 96th playground together, um, just really getting to memorize that love. And so knowing in those scenes with Tom, 
what I had lost. And you led me into my next question perfectly, because obviously we're going to continue to learn more about Danny and his childhood to kind of get the full backstory. Can you tease for me how Candy is going to handle that journey and what she will have to face? Obviously, no spoilers, but what is ahead for her? What can fans expect? As we learn more and more about um, these characters, their pasts, and how they cope, we learn that something that mother and son actually have in common is this survival skill of denial. Um, and so I think for Tom and me, how do you know something and also not know it um, at the same time? Because the very acknowledgement of knowing that thing would be so deeply uprooting to your sense of self and your whole life. And you don't have the strength to manage that. Um, so it can't be true. And I think that that is ultimately kind of what shatters their closeness. I think these are both good people who sometimes do bad things because they are a victim of their circumstances. And I think the show has really bottomless empathy for characters who are different than us and who are struggling with things that are different than our own struggles. And lastly, very quick, I just want to ask, you know, there's such a talented cast involved here. Who surprised you the most with their performance? Oh, everybody. I, I think it was so fun to be able to play the extents of the kind of emotional boundaries of these scenes in a, with, with actors who are quite fearless. Um, Amanda has an incredible openness about her heart and her face, and there is a scene in a bar in episode nine with us that was one of the more challenging scenes to shoot, as well as one in episode 10 with me and Tom. These are really big kind of Shakespearean tragedy moments. And um, it, 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 it is nice to be able to do that with directors and with actors that, that want to play in the same way that you do. Thank you so much, Ami. I really appreciate Thanks. it. Beautiful answers. Thank you.